Hi pen friends, this is Sarah and Eve. Um, it's been a long time since Eve's made a video with me. Hi. So you're probably impressed mm -hmm. that she's grown up. I mean, she's not a grown up, but she's almost, <laughs> <laughs> she's 10. I'm tall so now. She's almost a teenager. Um, so today I was thinking about how it's a little bit difficult for me to organize my ink swatches um, with them all on the same paper. So for our videos that we've done before, we've swatched a bunch of colors on the same paper. Yeah. And what I would really like to do is be able to move them around and compare them with each other. Yeah. And so I was thinking that maybe we could cut out these different samples into separate like squares. Oh yeah. And then in order to like, since the paper is, this is Tomoe River paper, it's like not stiff like the... Um, and it's like thin. Like a lot of people swatch their inks on cardstock or like watercolor paper or thicker paper so that they can put it on like a, a ring and, um, and oh, so keep like them that way. Oh, so like a ring. Well, not like a ring. Like they, they punch... <laughs> like the cards are attached to a ring. Oh, like a... Like a yeah. Thing. yeah, but I I don't want to swatch my inks on paper that I'm not used to writing on, like that thicker yeah. paper. I don't usually write on it. I want to have my swatches on Tomoe River paper, but be able to like move them around and keep them safe and stuff. Yeah. And so I was thinking that maybe I could repurpose my stamp album. So when I was oh. a kid, I used to collect stamps. And I oh, it still, has some stamps yeah, in it. I still have a bunch of stamps in here, but I have several of these books, and I don't really look at my stamp collection too much anymore. So I was thinking that these would be cool pages to like, um, like we could cut out the swatches that oh, are on yeah, paper. Oh yeah, because it has and, like a bunch of little yeah, like, and then we could slips. organize them in the stamp album. Um, so would you like to help me with that? Sure. Great. So we're going to cut these up and organize them in the book, okay. and then we'll show you what it looks like at the end. Okay. All right. See you later. So Eve is just finishing up cutting some of our green ink samples out, and then she's going to organize them in this um, stamp collecting book. And we found out that they fit really nicely, even though I never planned on putting these samples in this book and I didn't measure them to fit. Um, they actually fit really nicely, so that's really good luck. You might notice some of the colors we've done more than once, like this Robert Oster bronze and... Yeah, we've Where done some of them a few yep, times. this Robert Oster bronze. Bro so we'll just choose whichever one yeah. looks nicest. And yeah, I think I prefer this one. So okay. I'm just going to take the rest of this paper away. Because the rest are not green. Okay. Or we've already, we already have them. So I have a plan for uh, organizing these. Let's get this little paper scrap out of the way. So there are three main types of greens that we have. There's these kind of yellow greens, like this. This one is a brighter yellow green. There's these like very emeraldish greens, mm -hmm. and there's these bluish greens. Okay. So I'm gonna sort them based on which type of green and then I'll put them in. I don't know if this one belongs up with these ones. Oh. Because it's yeah. not as brown of a green as the other ones. Maybe you could choose mm -hmm. one of those to go with it with that row. No, I think this would be good. Alright, I can always rearrange them later. Hey! <laughs> that 
That's it. All right, good job. Thanks. Let's go and show everyone a closer look at what we've done. Uh, okay, sure. But we still have these three greens. Yeah, it's not a finished project, but we've got to start. So we've got to start with um, organizing yeah. the book of ink swatches, and it's come out really pretty. Um, so I've got a Unisafe um, stamp collecting book, and it's just got some like little ledges made out of um, this like clear paper. Um. I forget what that's called, but anyways. Um, so you can just stick the pieces of Tornoy River paper right in there. And Eve is going to tell you what order she put them in. Sailor Eponide, Robert Oster Moss, Robert Oster Motor Oil, KWZ Green Gold, Monteverde Olive, Olivine, Ven, Ven Vistas Mustio, Colorverse Glistening Brain, Robert Oster Melon Tea, Robert Oster Jade, Colorverse Walk the Dog, Robert Oster Bronze, Kino Oto Kokero, Roaring Klingner Out Gold Groom, Paper Plume. Moss green, papier plume moss. It's papier oh, plume. Papier plume. Oh wait, are moss and moss green the same one? Oh yeah. Well, we oh, might have to redo them. Sailor Ink Studio, two eighty. Diatrementis green tomato. Robert Oster eucalyptus leaf. Diatrementis agrel and poe. Diatrementis Jane Austen. Okay, and that's the first page, page, and then the second page. Diamine Evergreen, Robert Oster Eucalyptus, Sailor Tokiwa Matsu, Monteverde Malachite, Diamine Sherwood Green, Mont Blanc Irish Green, Colorverse Arabella, Ackerman 27 Bezuin Wood G J Herbin Vert Empire Birmingham Pen Company Summer Street Summer Sweet Colorverse Laurel Colorverse Green Goddess Roar and Klingner Smog de Groom Waterman Harmonious Green Visconti Green Private Reserve Cadillac Green, Colorverse Office Series Green, Dye Mine November Rain, Private Reserve Sherwood Green, Papier Plume Forest Green. Excellent. So we hope that you enjoyed that. Did you have fun? Yeah, I had fun. Good. So this was kind of my Mother's Day activity, Yeah. a little bit after Mother's Day. And I really liked it, and I'm looking forward to adding more swatches to our book. Yeah, I did too. I Maybe think it's could... cool that it was in the green book that we yeah. started the green samples. Maybe we could um, make other videos of putting. Um, yeah, putting I want to. Um, we haven't swatched all the inks in our collection, so I'd like to oh, do yeah. some more swatching videos and um, get all of our I swatches like swatching in the book. Me too. I could be in some of those. Yeah. All right, pen friends, I hope that you had a great Mother's Day, and we'll see you later. Bye! Bye.